Okay? But the point is, the good knife fighter thinks on all three points at the same time. Mm -hmm. He does not simply go, okay, I'm a cut guy. Well, no, I'm a stab guy. Okay? You kill when the opportunity presents itself. It doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, if, if you say when you cut here, here's this something called bait and switch. So I'm here, and I give him something to cut. So we're just, just restraining, restraining. And I give him something to cut, and he cuts for it, and I get it. Okay? He thinks on that, though. So yeah. he sends it out for me. He sends something out for me to cut, and he comes for mine. And I see. I see what's going on. I think when he comes in, he thinks I'm going to cut maybe here. But instead, I stab right for the source. Come in again. Maybe I stab that and then cut and pass. The knife fighter doesn't worry, doesn't get uh, bogged down with such things as, oh, well, uh, you know, slashing is better, or grip is another point. <coughs> he is proficient in both grips. Where he draws his knife is simply how he has it. Okay? There's no such thing as, well, I'm a reverse knife bear, or I am this, is, or this is best. You understand that this is a great, come in, this is a great hook, but for long range, it's not as good as this. This gives you the reach. You understand that this is good, but when you're in close here, you don't have as much hooking action. But still, they're both deadly. You have a blade here. Yeah. Okay? The knife fighter understands this. Okay? There's no such thing as a, oh, I fight only like this, or I always do this, or I was... You will never hear a person, he just draws and cuts. He just draws and kills. That's just how it is. Okay? So you learn every aspect in sak sak, meaning stab stab, or pakal. Pakal means to rip. Sorry. <laughs> pakal means to rip. <laughs> yes. Okay? So the last of these, we go. I'll show you the whole deal real quick. So first is just pass, 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 pass. The second one, stop and pass. 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 The third one, thrust and pass. 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 The fourth one, over the top. Over the top. Right it over the top. Over the top. Cut through over the top. Over the top writing is called, you can call this cadena royale, meaning to chain together, or cambiata, meaning to ride over. Okay? Um, but I'm staying away from Filipino terms because I always blow it. So, <laughs> again, this is just riding over the top. Okay? Those are the four. And the reason we do different things like this when he comes in, like for instance, I stop here. I'm, the reason for this is to get the timing of it. So when he comes in, stop, cut, go. Okay? He comes in again. Thrust, drip, down. He comes in again. Ride over, bring it in, thrust. Every one of these teaches something different or teaches a different entry or aspect of fighting. Alright? So we'll cover that more next week.